So this is the second version of how I have everything set up in my buffer tank. So of course I have, I'm gonna have that filled up with a cap. Just gotta get off the truck and get it. This is my unloader. I'm running it from my unloader and it bypasses into that lid. This is my water feed. I got a quick connect down here on it. So when I pull my water hose here, I just pull all the water hose off and connect it down there. Uh, I have a splitter. I got a three quarter bulkhead down there. I have a two way garden hose fitting. And then that's poly braid, three quarter poly braid and then three quarter poly braid that goes into here. And yes, this four gallon a minute pump does pull water. I'll make a video on that. I tried it before I started the season. I've did two house washes so far. Both times customers have came out and talked to me and I've been just able to sit there and let this thing run and run and run and not have to just stay on the trigger and hope that it's fixed. So I uh, got a three quarter ball valve or a three quarter bolt cad with the whip line. Uh, I have a Hudson float valve in there. That's my unloader bypass. I have a two-way splitter here with garden hose fittings. One goes here, one's just open. I'll probably put a line on it and run like a, a drain out this way. And so that's how I have that 55 gallon. That's the 55 gallon 2.0 buffer tank for me this year. Like I said, I gotta change that cap out. I have it, I just gotta get off down out of the truck and get it. And uh, besides, so far, the only issue I have is I'd like to run that hose, you know, along this way. So I'll just have to make the hose longer. But uh, the Hudson float valve is gonna be amazing. It's in there a little high. I don't really want it to be that high because with it pulling in plus unloading, I don't wanna just, I mean, it's right at the top of the tank, so I don't wanna pop it. So I'm probably gonna put a riser on it if I can find one and uh, go from there. But that'll be in another video. We'll see you.